Let's understand how are repeating decimals expressed as a ratio of integers. That means we will convert repeating decimals to its fractional form. Please be reminded that this solution that I will show will only apply to a repeating decimal. To solve this, we need to rewrite this in a form of series. I mean, a geometric series. So we have 2.3 plus 17 over 10 cube plus 17 over 10 to the power of 5 plus 17 over 10 to the power of 7 and so on. Observe that we separate the portion of the number that doesn't repeat from the portion that is repeating. And now, this is what we call a geometric series. Notice that the first occurrence of 17 goes out to the first, second, third decimal place. So we rewrite it as 17 over 10 cube. Then, the next occurrence of 17 is first, second, third, fourth, fifth decimal place. So that can be written as 17 over 10 to the power of 5. And of course, following this pattern, we're going to be able to write all occurrences of 17 in the following manner. This portion is what we call an infinite geometric series. And we know that this is a geometric series because we continuously multiplying by a common factor. In this case, if you'll notice, we keep multiplying each term successively by 1 over 10 squared to generate the next term. This constant number by which we are multiplying is known as r. Therefore, it's 1 over 10 squared. Now, it turns out that if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then there's a special formula that we can use to kind of condense this portion of numbers here. So, the formula for an infinite geometric series, considering that the absolute value of r is less than 1, so we have s is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Now, a sub 1 stands for the first term of our geometric sequence, which is 17 over 10 cube, and r is 1 over 10 squared. I forgot to say that this r stands for the common ratio, meaning we generate the next term by multiplying the common ratio to the previous term. In this case, if we are going to multiply 1 over 10 squared by the first term in the sequence, the result is second term. And if the second term will be multiplied by this 1 over 10 squared, the result is third term, and so on. So now, let us substitute to this formula the value of a sub 1, which is 17 over 10 cube, and the value of our common ratio, which is 1 over 10 squared. We have 17 over 10 cube, all over 1 minus 1 over 10 squared. This is equal to 17 over 1000. Since 10 squared is just 100, so our LCD here is 100. 100 divided by 1 is just 100, then times 1, so we have 100. 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1, then times 1 is equal to 1. This will become 17 over 1000 times the reciprocal of 99 over 100, which is 100 over 99. 100 divided by 1000, we have 1 over 10. So our answer here is 17 over 990. Therefore this portion is 17 over 990. Let's now add this 2.3 and 17 over 990. But first let's convert this to fraction. And that is 23 over 10. 23 over 10. 
plus 17 over 990, and that is equal to 1147 over 495. This means that the decimal form 2.3171717 is equal to 1147 over 495 as its fractional form. Let's check in calculator. Therefore, our answer is correct. That's all for today's video. Check our video playlist for more similar videos. And if you are new to our channel, consider subscribing and don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions. Bye for now.